In an age where many games on Nintendo platforms are moving away from supporting Nintendo's NFC toys, there still are a few titles on the market that not only support them, but bring some exclusive new amiibo into the fray. Konami did just this with Power Pro Baseball on the Switch in the form of some special amiibo cards. Danny from the Famicast, and in this video we're going to talk about the amiibo support in Power Pro Baseball on the Switch. So, like I just said, Konami did craft some special amiibo to be used exclusively with Power Pro Baseball on the Switch. Now these amiibo come in the form of cards. When scanned into the game, players can net items that can be used in the new treasure mode to help boost the abilities of their team members. Amiibo can be scanned in up to five times per day, each giving slightly different kinds of rewards. Now, for those that pick up the game physically in Japan, there are actually five different amiibo cards that can be picked up depending on where you purchase the game. Now, one card featuring the series mascot, Power Pro Kun, comes with all physical versions of the game. This Power Pro Kun card gives players a high tendency to receive in-game items to help build up their batter's stats on their treasure team. But let's take a look at some of the other cards. So, for some gamers that picked up or pre-ordered Power Pros from Toys R Us, Aeon, or some other stores that we have listed here, you're able to get the card for Mamoru Ikari. Now, this amiibo gives items that can be used on pitchers. The next card here features a character named Akio Yabe, and this card was available with purchase at Yodabashi Camera, Yamada Denki, Bit Camera, and the other stores we have listed here. And this character gives items to help boost your player's defensive abilities. Now, next up is this amiibo based on Aoi Hayakawa. This card was packaged with physical versions of the game exclusively from Amazon Japan. Using this card will make it possible to get more items for pitchers that enable them to add more to their repertoire of pitches. So basically items that give different kinds of pitches, such as sliders, fork balls, stuff like that. And also being able to increase the potency of their already equipped pitches. Next card we have here features a dog character. You can see he's kind of cute. Uh, his name is Ganda. Now, this was packaged with the game at Game Staya, Rakuten Books, Wonder Goo, and a few other retailers that we have listed here. Now, this card will give players equipable items that can be removed and used with any player they like. So when equipped, these items give boost to players. And these can be, like I said, these can be changed around at any time that you like. Now, the final card on our list is for Daijoubu Hakase, which was exclusively available at Geo stores across Japan. Now, this is the place where I picked up the game personally, so this is the amiibo that I received. And this card gives player a higher chance to pick up higher ranked items, so which in turn can give more points to different attributes in the game. Now, with all of the types out of the way, let's just talk about how you actually scan these amiibo in. So scanning in these cards is actually pretty simple. So by going to the amiibo option on the main menu by pressing Y, you're then asked to scan the amiibos into the game. So again, there is a limit to how many times you can do this per day. It's five times, but once scanned, you can get your items. So let's just go ahead and scan a few things right now. We'll go ahead and cut to that and you can see. There's one that I'm doing right there with the card. And let's try this other card as well. And you can see that. And I did just have some regular Amiibo, just, you know, some Nintendo ones, some Smash Brothers ones that I've had laying around the house. and all of that so I tried to scan those and this is what happened with that and let's try this other one here too And boom, you can see that even scanning in this regular amiibo that you already have, this also gets you random items uh, from within the game. So this is another way that you can get items outside of actually playing the game. 
And there you have it. These are the six Amiibo cards that are available for Powerful Baseball in Japan and what they do, and also just showing you how you can actually go and scan this. As much as I would have liked to, I would have loved to pick up multiple copies of the game so I can have every single one of these Amiibo cards, but uh, this wasn't in the cards. My wallet just said no. As always, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to give us a like. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, special videos, and a whole lot more. Also, be sure to check us out on social media. We're at the Famicast. Again, Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.